Hi, welcome to our Getting Started tutorial. I'm Suzanne and I'm going to take you through the general navigation of projectmanager.com, some of your account settings, and of course, how to reach us in the support team if you have any issues. When you log into Project Manager, you come to the Welcome tab. There are three large icons that are actually buttons that you can click on. You can click here to create your first project, invite your project team members to join you, or you can click Watch Tutorials to view our video tutorials. On the left hand side, we have the large round menu button. Click on it and you will see that you can also create a new project from here. You can open an existing project, rename them, import and export, as well as go to any recent projects or delete projects. Here, under your accounts option, you can access your user licenses if you need to increase or decrease those, as well as your user security settings, your email alert notifications, and of course, creating client users. With projectmanager.com, you can create free, read-only client users. Also on this screen, you can set your resource, country, or global holidays, configure account settings, and assign user passwords. Now along the top, you'll see these tabs. They work just like browser tabs, where you can simply click on them to open. Where there's a small X, you can close that tab. If we click on the My Home tab, you'll see that there is an activity stream of what is occurring on your projects as well as updates team members may have posted. The My Home area is the main area for your team to collaborate within projectmanager.com. You can personalize this with a picture of yourself. Simply change by clicking the little button with the pencil and upload a picture. From your My Home tab, you can also go to the Tasks page, which allows you to see all of the tasks that you're assigned to, or you might like to change the settings to see all the tasks on your project. If you select a task here, you can enter information like percentage complete, actual effort, add notes, or add a status update using the Share feature. From your My Home tab, you can also go to the Project Documents folder. You can access your own calendar, timesheets, as well as your email area. You can store contacts and create a personal to-do list as well. Under the Settings, I'll click on that, you can see there are a couple options on this screen. The Login Details tab allows you to update your username and password. The Features tab allows you to simplify your view in Project Manager by simply deselecting or unchecking any of the features in your account. You'll see they're all listed here. Save this, then when you re-log in, those features will not be shown in your view. It's a great way to simplify your view and remove the things that you're not going to use on a day-to-day -day basis. If you need them back, you simply come to your settings here under My Home, reselect them, save, log out, log in again, and they'll all be back. Next along the top is the little envelope icon. That's another way to get to your mailbox where you can also see messages from your team. Click on the green New button or on a person to send them a message. The next tab along is the All tab. This features a portfolio view of all of your projects. Here under the Projects tab, you will see a list of all of my projects. I can see the groups I've created as well as an easy way to create new groups. When I go to the Portfolio Dashboard, I can see health charts across all of my projects on my account. I can also go to the Roadmap. This will show me the Gantt for all of my projects. 
I can change this using the filter. Here, I can drill down into any of those projects that are open on my account. You can also go to your resources section. You might need to add some resources, whether they're human or non-human, or perhaps change some of their details. Next, we'll look at the workload grid, which shows me any over or under allocated resources on my account. If I click on any of these days, it will show me the tasks that they're working on and the projects that they're assigned to. Another very important feature under the All tab is the Reports section. These are covered in depth in our Reports tutorial, but this is an easy way to get to them from your All tab. Back at the top, the next tab across for me is my Sample Project. So you'll have this loaded in your account as well. You'll see there's a completely interactive Gantt here that you can test with. You can try out some of the features before you create your first project, or of course, you can just click on the blue New tab here at the top and start creating your first project. Before we go, I'll just show you on the, the top right hand side how you can reach us in the support team. Simply click on the support link here, and that will open a window for you to send us a message any information on a problem you might be having, and of course, any questions. You can click on the Request Feature icon if you have some great ideas on features that you would like to see. We'd love to hear from you. You'll also notice that you can access the Help, which is a context-sensitive in-system help. It's a great resource for some of your questions. You can print this as well. Lastly, depending on if you're accessing during your trial period or not, you will see either the Request a Demo or Request Training, like you see here, to schedule time with one of our team members. So we've gone through the general navigation of Project Manager, how to access your account settings under the menu button on the left-hand side, how to raise a support ticket with us using the link on the right-hand side, and your My Home area. If you have any questions at all or any issues, please contact us in the support team. I hope you'll join me on our next video, Creating Your First Project.